All right, guys and girls, this is Jerningham here. We're going to be doing some more of the protests gathered outside Scotland Yard following the clashes with police of Sarah Evenhard. I don't know about Wayne Cousins. He's not there. He's in, he's probably locked, he's still locked up. But anyway, we're going to be doing some more of this. Some people have already seen this video, but I'm going to be putting on my channel now anyway. Thank you very much. You know me now. This is a protest that uh, just now started outside New Scotland Yard on the embankment in Westminster. This protest, a direct response to the events on Clapham Common last night. I'm going to pop out the way uh, and just let uh, the camera get uh, a flavour of the shots here. You can Let's get a flavour of the shots. people here at least uh, near that iconic New Scotland Yard. Uh, sign, of course, well known throughout the world. And this was a couple of days ago, by the way, guys. It's not today, or girls. Uh, as I say, not just a bit behind, behind on the news. Last night, but of course, to pay their respects to Sarah Everard The deaths have got, gone up to 6,000. Well, not the deaths, the, the infections have gone up to 6,000. And the deaths today are like 95. So, this is old news. If you can see the deaths on here, this is old news. You can see they're all absolutely packed in like sardines in this uh, small sort of concourse area just outside Scotland Yard. They are in contravention of lockdown rules. Now, police, because of concerns, in fact, just you can see some more police reinforcements arriving outside New Scotland Yard now. A lot of women in the contingent there as well because a great deal of criticism about uh, the fact that uh, when police uh, backup came in, reinforcements, uh, there were women initially, but uh, male police officers uh, to supplement the number because there was only so many women police officers that were available at that time. Uh, male officers were in there and they were directly involved in arrest, which of course upset uh, a lot of people. So as I was saying, the, uh, the, the situation here at the moment is that uh, they are clearly not complying with uh, COVID rules and regulations, but given the fury over what happened last night and the, the arrests that followed a decision by the police because they said of real concerns over uh, health, uh, because of the uh, way in which people were crammed in together, they moved in to try and start dispersing people, and that's of course uh, when hostilities uh, began. Uh, a lot of fallout, a lot of pressure on the Metropolitan Police Commissioner, Cressida Dick. I can tell you that she is currently involved uh, in doing an interview for the television cameras, uh, which we will bring to you as soon as we can. We're not exactly sure what she is going to say. Her uh, colleagues, her officers uh, last night, well. uh, were talking about uh, being left with no choice but to intervene because of the fact that people were crammed in together in such a small uh, space and not just that there were basically hostile elements in the crowd that uh, were shouting at the police uh, were pushing and then began throwing uh, items at the police as well and that necessitated them to move in and start uh, arresting people there uh, that explanation though has not satisfied the london mayor sadiq khan he wants an independent investigation not satisfied with Cressida dicks um, remarks and explanation apparently uh, and further pressure of course a notable intervention from the Home Secretary who uh, said that she found some of the scenes that she saw on social media last night um, uh, you know uh, she was very concerned and worried by uh, those scenes uh, the uh, Home Office Minister Victoria Atkins was on Sophie uh, Ridge's programme this morning. Uh, again, uh, she didn't give a fulsome support uh, to the Home Secretary. She said that we'd have to wait to see what Cressida Dick said in response uh, to the events of last night. Now, you can see as we speak that uh, the uh, police are putting up more barriers uh, to guard the area around New Scotland Yard, keeping the protesters who are arriving all of the time here um, I don't know if you can see them over there, they're actually spilling out uh, onto the roadway, onto the uh, embankment itself because there are uh, significant numbers uh, of people who have decided to turn up in defiance of police um, warnings not to because of the fact they would be breaking the law uh, and in response to uh, the scenes that they saw with uh, 
a number of people, four was the last count given to us by the Metropolitan Police, uh, arrested as a result uh, of events down on Clapping Common. So it's peaceful at the moment, but uh, there, there is certainly a tension in the area. This event has been organised uh, by a group called Sisters Uncut. Now, they're not reclaim the streets. Reclaim the streets say that they have... Uh, for days try to engage with Scotland Yard with a view to having a smaller scale socially distanced vigil which they believe would have satisfied health requirements and would not have led to the scenes last night where many more than were originally planned to turn out uh, onto Clapham Common uh, decided to turn out in defiance of that uh, police ban. Uh, so here again today, as I say, we're seeing them here just outside New Scotland Yard. Uh, and certainly so far, of course, a, a different response from the police. But to be fair to the police, it was a different response yesterday uh, as well, until events did start to deteriorate. Uh, a lot of female officers that were visible only later as the crowd, uh, according to the Metropolitan Police, began to uh, become more hostile, uh, were other officers and uh, by necessity, just because of the numbers of female officers on duty at that time, there were male officers in there as well. So, uh, tense here, uh, people determined to have their voices heard, though, despite the fact that they know they could be risking arrest. Well, that was a couple of days ago. Let's see here. Video, so my torch has gone off. Thank you for joining this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Four days ago video, I've just done. Peace.